WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalea joining us live here in studio. So Anna, people here locally are getting something in the mail called the Buckeye Reporter. Well, Craig, this right here is the Buckeye Reporter and it looks like a newspaper, but take a closer look and experts say it's not what it appears to be. Pat Taylor opened her mailbox recently and found the Buckeye Reporter. I thought, Oh, I don't know. We've never seen anything like that. I thought maybe it was like a Del High Press. It wasn't a Del High Press issue, though, and experts say the way the Buckeye reporter looks is deliberate. It's trying to pass itself off as something that it's not. It's coming from a Chicago address and is affiliated with Metric Media, which has similar outlets across the country. This outlet exists to advance, you know, right wing and conservative causes. It maintains websites that look like news websites, but are really just variations of this mailing. The Buckeye reporter says in a publisher's note, it will quote, provide contextual and consequential information to give you the whole story. In the issue mailed out, articles quote several Republican politicians in favor of issue one, which would make it harder to change Ohio's constitution. Mentions of those advocating against issue one are described in the Buckeye reporter issue as left leaning, like Black Lives Matter Dayton or even the Communist Party, while leaving out more center and right leaning groups like the Fraternal Order of Police in Ohio. The Buckeye Reporter says this is its inaugural print issue, but it's not the first time we've seen the Buckeye Reporter pop up before an election. In Ohio, it popped up in the Republican primary for governor last year. Cleveland.com covered this at the time and reports the stories mostly included a statement from Governor Mike DeWine's opponent, Jim Renacci, and didn't note any attempts to get comment from other candidates. And experts also note, we know from the address on the paper itself, this is coming from Illinois, but Craig Tanya, we don't know who's funding the Buckeye Reporter or where they're from.